Hello, this is Eric. And I'm Tiffany. And we are Terrific Pace Gaming, and we're with Just Cat Blade. Today we're going to be unboxing Tidal Blades Heroes of the Reef Deluxe Edition. So this is a giant box, what used to be called coffin box. Well, I guess that was more like the coffin period, but it was as it goes. Uh, anyway, this is a game by Tim and Ben Eisner, and the art by Mr. Covington. And this is published by Druid City and Skybound Tabletop. And we have some some stats over here. It is for one to four players, ages 14 and up. And it's going to take you about 60 to 90 minutes. Now, this is kind of a lot in this box. So why don't you read the little blurb to everybody? Welcome to, oh, I don't know how to say that word, Naviri. Welcome to Naviri. Many brave contestants have signed up for the tournament, but only a handful will be chosen to join the Tidal Blades, the elite guards of our island realm. To be chosen, you must compete in challenges at Lamara Stadium, the Chronosium, nice. and the Dracosa, Drosca Ring. Rise to the top of the champion board and protect the realm from the ever-increasing threat of monsters breaking free from the mysterious fold. So I don't know a ton about this game. I'm just going to give you an incredibly brief overview. Uh, so basically, in this world, this universe, as it were, uh, everybody's going to be going to these different arenas to compete and basically build up their dice, but then go and fight these monsters. So these are the different di the heroes with their little dials, and you can see there's a ton, a ton of dice going on in this game. So, I hear that this game comprises or consists of strategic right dice rolling, cooperative battles, multiple paths to victory, and asymmetric powers. If that's what tickles the fancy. Wow, that's so. Pretty specific list of things. I'm very in the know. <laughs> well, it's good in one of this. All right. I love that, he, that the name of the artist is Mr. Mr. Sounds like a bad. Like, kind of how like we call Chubbs. Theodore. Theodore. And this box does not want to open. But we're going to force it. That's how we are. Okay. So Stop. First of all, uh, apparently this is telling us what we have, which is miniatures and character bus, molded energy discs, squishy fruit, plastic squishy shells. fruit. Those are the deluxe upgrades. I how it Other titles from Starbound Games. Interesting. Uh, very large and unwieldy rulebook. Fairly standard. Nothing fancy. Just pages of things to tell you and things to read and examples and all kind of things going on. Oh, a little comic. Interesting. Well, it's pretty easy to read. It's pretty yeah. As it goes. As it goes. Oh, another little comic. How to fight a monster. Mm -hmm. Oh, no spoilers. We'll have to find out later. Plus the rule book. Apparently, we also have an almanac. I would imagine this goes into you know, card clarification, all the different cards and everything going on. Excellent. This actually looks thicker, same same quality as far as it goes, uh, but it actually looks like there's more pages to this than and the rules. Yeah, I'm coming up with 19. That's the rules are. 19. Oh well, it's a tie. Excellent. All right, so I imagine these are our standard components here. Looks like a little like. shelf going on there. Excellent. Oh, yeah, so it's, this is also Title Blades Part 1. I'm not really sure what Part 1 means, but we've got a ooh, fancy well, hardcover book. Seems that there might be a Part 2. Yeah, I, it doesn't buy that. Oh, the art and lore of Title Blades. Interesting. Well, there's a whole world story going on. Experts. We can become experts, yes. It'll be nice to be an expert in something. Uh, I do like this art style. It's somehow like water anime, almost. Beautiful. Yeah, the, the world building's nice as far as the art and everything goes. I haven't quite read this book yet. You mean you're not reading it now? Um, yes, actually, and 
Done. All right. And that'll be continued. Okay. So we've got the different arenas. Alamara Stadium. Complimentary bubble. Complimentary yeah. bubble. Which bubble you can map. pop or give to your loved ones to pop. The Citadel of Time. Having problems there. Two player mode rules and solo mode rules. The Chronosium. The Droska Ring. That just looks like where you go get stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Underneath that, we have. Um, uh, this looks like the monster board. And then there's a whole lot of these. Oh, it looks like scoring, final scoring something. The start the champion board. I guess that gets ah. put, put together in some fancy way. Like that. Ta -da. Like that. Ta -da. Uh, but some more complimentary bubble wrap. Yay. We have some character boards. Cayman. Nico. Axel, not Rose. Dig on Eco. Dust. All right, and as I was saying with the box, you can see these little dials twirl. It's kind of nice that they're already put together. Most of the time, they just give you all the stuff. You got to punch you it up. Yeah. Push it all together, together yourself. yourself. Pretty fancy. And we have the Tobia score sheet. Yep. We've seen so. A lid. A lid. For that little compartment there. This looks to be not 100% sure. I'll open that up. Cards. The cards, yes. One You're lady. welcome. This guy doesn't want to come out. Be shy. Looks like a man fighting a monster on a drum. Okay. Excellent. Oh, probably couldn't see it over here. Over there? How about here? Over here? No? Okay. What do you got, baby? Oh, uh, I've got, it looks like monsters. Yeah, it does look like monsters. They're very cute monsters. Yeah. And player aids? Yeah, maybe? player aids. I agree. Um, here's another square deck of cards. Not really sure what that's about. These look like market cards. It's a bold assumption. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I have such trouble with Here, these Trisha. things. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm um, not really sure what this is. Complete challenges, complete resilience challenges. Uh, it looks like um, objectives. Complete challenges, uh, two or three trade symbols, seven points for six, ten for seven, etc. In different colors, so I would imagine, yeah. Shuffle them up and get one of each, probably something like that. And special announcements. Looks like more of the same ish. Uh, seven for the most Pronosium challenges. It's more, it looks like more scoring to me. And for the market cards, it looks like we've got two different kinds. Um, the ones that are black and cost, I would assume, victory points and resources. And then these ones, it looks like just cost resources. So looks like this is your, when you go to the market, you can trade four oranges for a racing compendium. Interesting. Or two for a chrono shield. And more and more. I'm going to have our opening so we're not here all day waiting for me. Um, there are a lot of spacers in here. I'm guessing, based on the fact that this is that cute little eco character, that these are player decks. Yeah, that does look like it. Yeah, eco's playstyle, and then there's that chick's player deck, and then some big crocodile looking thing, and then this blue haired dude, and then like a player that goes along with those. Meanwhile, on this side, we have a dice tray. Just to get a little jumble in there, but uh, happens to the best of us. Indeed. Uh, incidentally, um, I, 
I mean, you can see it, but everything is really high quality. Yeah. It's the cards, beautiful. they have a linen, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they got a linen finish. finish on them. Oh, here we go. All right, so plot effect cards. These is what these say, and just got some status effects or that sort of thing, looks like. And these are stunt cards. So I would assume that these are stunts that you do. For That's example, dedicated study, draw number of challenge cards equal to your spirit treat level and choose one to keep. Excellent. So we have some fancy printed dice. They're very nice. They're shiny. They're so like, good. Not really sure what any of them do at this point. They look like good things for the challenges, maybe. And yeah. Like on the monster, you probably Combat have to get certain monster. sides of the dice to match. What's that one? Legendary challenges Ooh, and legend. regular challenges. Legends. Wait for it. Dairy. You're not lactose intolerant because it's dairy. There you go. Um, but these on the other side, they just have like tasks at the top names, and then it looks like something you have to earn or obtain somehow. I'm gonna put the top back on this. They're all very nice. Oh, I like these. Yeah, those are fancy. Really pretty. What's this? Uh, it looks like that's stuck in there like, already. Well, it's just. Well, no, no, maybe it's just for shipping. Like the rest of these spacers and everything. Mm -hmm. we'll see I don't like this. the residue it needs. More spacers, more spacers, more spacers. Can't see that stuff. Ooh, the that's squishy fancy. orange. This is what I've been waiting for. See these feelies. All right, they're very um, similar to Everdell. The components of like the little berries in Everdell. Yeah, but that's cool. Little squishy yeah. oranges. These are little Those hard are pretty. shells. Uh, plastic. I'm sure you can hear them rattling around. Uh, very much like the quality of Lost Rooms of Arnak, something like that. Yeah. Oh, what else we have? Little guy is trying to get out. Yeah, he's trying to escape. This looks like stands, probably for the cardboard instead of all the fancy yep. miniatures. That's an arena. An arena. Fancy. So we have another board here. It has characters. Looks like, and these look like I'm sure related to. Players somehow, yeah. They're just pretty nice little plastic markers, but I would imagine this has something to do with first player marker or something. Who knows? And this does look like all the little characters. Yeah, it's that crocodile. They all have, well, not all of them, but most of them have. Oh, there is like a secondary. Those look like trophies. Yep. Interesting. There's a slot under Behind each character that yeah. has. Well, I'm guessing these are trophies. They seem to look like it. Pretty fancy. What was that one? Yeah. Looks like a boat. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be some kind of big baddie. He's a turtle. Oh, he's a turtle. Oh, now he's my favorite. <laughs> All right, aside from the little guy here, we already showed you. It looks like everything. So, quite a bit going on here. Lots of stuff. Wait, hold on. We gotta. Oh, extra space. All right, so that is Title Blades. We're kind of itching to get this to the table and give it a try. Yeah, take a look, check it out. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a comment or hit the like button. It really does help us out. If you have suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments as well, and then subscribe to see what we come up with next.